Welcome to the Quick Crochet Stitch. I'm Sharon Silverman and today I'm going to show you how to do an alternate version of the Tunisian cross stitch. It's staggered and a little different than the standard cross stitch because we'll go into two threads at once. I use this stitch pattern in my ivory shell in my book Tunisian Crochet The Look of Knitting with the Ease of Crocheting. So let's get started. I made a swatch first of 16 stitches and you can see they're just Tunisian simple stitch. The first row is Tunisian pearl to prevent the swatch from curling but everything else since then is Tunisian simple stitch. And we're going to work this cross stitch in pairs. We don't work the first stitch that counts the loop on my hook will count as the first stitch so now these next two stitches we're going to do the cross stitch. Slide your hook behind both of those stitches. Yarn over and pull up a loop and now you're going to need to use your finger to hold that loop in place and go back just into the first loop of the two that you went through for that pair. Yarn over and pull up a loop and now you can let go but if you hadn't held that loop in place you would have lost it off your hook. We're going to now identify the next group of two stitches from the previous row. Here they are. Again this is the part that's different. In a regular cross stitch you would do the second one and then come back for the first one. But in this version of a cross stitch we're actually going behind both of those loops yarn over, pull up a loop, then hold that loop in place with your finger. Make sure you can see the first of those two loops only, the stitches from the previous row. Insert your hook behind that, yarn over, and pull up a loop, and then you can let go. You can see the X's forming as the stitches from the row below are crossed by what you've just done. Let's continue that across. Slide through the next two loops. Your hook remains in front just like for Tunisian simple stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, hold that in place with your finger. You can use the thumb of your other hand to kind of get that second stitch out of your way slide in as a Tunisian simple stitch into that first stitch from the pair, yarn over and pull up a loop. I'm going to continue that across going through two and then just the first one going through two and just the first one and then I will show you what happens when we get to the end of the row So I have one more pair. I slide my hook behind both of those loops, yarn over, pull up a loop, hold it in place, go through the first one, yarn over, pull up a loop, and now I finish my row the way I always do just with a Tunisian simple stitch in that last stitch. And here's what we have so far. You can see there are single stitches on each end and then the pairs that we crossed. The return pass is a standard return which means yarn over and pull through one loop and the rest of the way across yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. So that's how the return pass works. I'll continue that till I get back to the beginning and then we'll take a look and see what this looks like so far. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. The end of my hook is making a noise. I just want to anchor that. There we go. I'm using one with a plastic extension and sometimes it flies around. But now I'm sitting on it so it's not going anywhere. So here's what it looks like after the first row of cross stitches forward and return. 
And I'll show you what the back looks like too. You can see how that looks different than the Tunisian simple stitch from the previous rows. Okay, now for our second row of cross stitches, we're going to stagger these. And to do that, we'll need to use half of one pair with half of the next pair. So to do that, we have the loop on our hook, that counts as one, and we'll need one Tunisian simple stitch. So we'll do that in the next stitch, and now you can see I have my X that I'll make with the first part, you know, the second part of that first group, and the first part of the next group. So I'm going through those two loops, yarn over, pull up my loop, hold it in place, go through just the first stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop. And the rest of the way, again, you can see we're going to be using the second part of the X from before with the first part of the next one. So we're joining them together and then the X's will be staggered, not lined up in stripes. So slide through both loops, both stitches, yarn over and pull up a loop, hold it in place, go through that first stitch only, yarn over and pull up a loop. I'm going to continue doing that across for my forward pass. And then we'll see what that looks like when we get near the end. Okay, now I have two more. Okay, now when I'm left with two stitches, I don't want to make an X there. I want it to be symmetrical with the beginning. So I'm just going to do two regular old simple stitches. Insert my hook, pull up a loop, and same thing in the final stitch. Insert my hook, which I like to do behind two threads, yarn over and pull up a loop. Here's what it looks like at the end of the forward pass of the second cross stitch row. You can see the X's are not lined up over each other, but they're staggered. For the return pass, standard return, yarn over, pull through one, and then yarn over, pull through two, all the way across, back to the beginning. And then we'll see what that looks like. Just a few more to go. And this is after two rows of cross stitch. So you can see the X's are here and then here. For the next row, they're going to go back over the first row, so they'll take turns. And here's what the back looks like so far. Okay, so I'll show you one more row. It's going to be just like row one. It's a two-row pattern. So remember, we just skipped the stitch that was on the end, and then we slid through the next two, yarn over, pull up a loop, hold it in place, go into that first one again. So I'll speed across. This is just like row one of the cross stitch pattern. So each time I'll slide through a pair of stitches and then just the first one of that pair, yarning over and pulling up a loop each time. Okay, so I have this pair and this pair and the final stitch and the return is a standard return and then we'll see what that looks like. Okay. I do like the return pass. It goes very quickly. Okay, so I have three more stitches. Two, one, zero. And there you can really see the X's starting to uh, form and how they work in lines, kind of diagonal, because we'll have one here and then one to the right and left of it, and then the next row is right above the first one. That's the Tunisian staggered X stitch or cross stitch. I hope you'll give it a try and that you enjoy making it. Here's one last look at the back of the fabric and the front. 
Thanks for joining me at the Quick Crochet Stitch.